Brought to you by wikivd.com Black Sales TV Series Black Sales is an American historical adventure television series set on New Providence Island and a prequel to Robert Louis Stevenson's novel, Treasure Island. The series was created by Jonathan E. Steinberg and Robert Levine for stars. It debuted online for free on YouTube and other various streaming platform and video on demand services on January 18, 2014. The debut on cable television followed a week later on January 25, 2014. Steinberg is executive producer alongside Michael Bay, Brad Fuller and Andrew Form. While Michelangeli Doris Egan and Levine are co-executive producers, on July 26, 2013, Stars renewed the show for a 10-episode second season which premiered on January 24, 2015. The early renewal six months before the first season premiered was based on the positive fan reaction to the show at the San Diego Comic Con. The series was renewed for a third season on October 12, 2014 and a fourth season on July 31, 2015, both before the respective previous seasons had premiered. On July 20, 2016, Stars announced that the series' fourth season would be its last. The season premiered on January 29, 2017 and the series concluded on April 2, 2017. Plot Black Sails is set roughly two decades before the events of Treasure Island and During the Golden Age of Piracy, feared Captain Flint brings on a younger crew member as they fight for the survival of New Providence Island. According to the first episode in 1715 West Indies, the pirates of New Providence Island threaten maritime trade in the region. The laws of every civilized nation declare them hostess humani generous enemies of all mankind. In response the pirates adhere to a doctrine of their own but war against the world. Real-life pirates who are fictionalized in the show include Anne Bonny Benjamin Horny Gold. Jack Rackham, Charles Vane, Ned Lowe, Israel Hands and Blackbeard. The plot of the first season focuses on the hunt for the Spanish treasure galleon Urca de Lima. At the beginning of the second season the treasure from the Urca de Lima has been stranded on the shores of Florida with Spanish soldiers guarding it. But by the conclusion of the second season the treasure has been taken by Jack Rackham and his crew and brought to New Providence Island. During the second season the questions of how, and why Flint, a man who was a Navy officer and London gentleman, turned to piracy are answered. The third and the fourth seasons focus on the war, for the control of new providence between the pirates and the British Empire represented by Captain Woods Rogers. Production the series is filmed at Cape Town Film Studios in Cape Town, South Africa, with local production company Film Africa. The opening title sequence was made by Imaginary Forces and directors Michelle Doherty and Karen Fong, with the backing sea shanty-inspired theme composed by Battlestar Galactica and The Walking Dead composer Bear McCreary. It accurately features an instrument of the period in the form of the hurdy-gurdy. For the amount of detail that was added to the vessels it took over 300 workers to build just one ship. In real-life recurring actors Nick Barain, Anna Louise Plowman, Chris Larkin and Guy Paul are Louise Barnes' husband Toby Stevens' wife and brother, and Harriet Walters' husband respectively. Reception the first season of Black Sails received mixed reviews from critics. On Rotten Tomatoes the season holds a rating of 62% based on 45 reviews, with an average rating of 6 tenths. The site's consensus reads Black Sails boasts visual appeal, but the show's bland characters aren't strong enough to keep the show 
from being dragged down into its murky depths of aimless exposition. On Metacritic Season 1 has a score of 58 of 100 based on 27 critics indicating mixed or average reviews. Tim Goodman of The Hollywood Reporter said, This ambitious pirate story is helped immensely by going beyond the pay cable freedoms that often bog down lesser shows in boobs, blood and sex. Black Sails steers itself out of that realm after a few episodes and makes a play for bigger, more complicated stories. Robert Lloyd of the Los Angeles Times said, Black Sails is a pirate treasure. The Stars series vividly depicts the daily life of pirates. Jeff Jensen of Entertainment Weekly said not even a guilty pleasure. Black Sails is arrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr